Good day, my valued students. The video tutorial you're about to watch is an excerpt from my newly published tutorial on how to basically get paid for doing your web development, print development, or motion graphic works. As you know, in this economy, it's not that easy to separate you and your clients from five, six, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. It's much easier if you can devise a payment plan to get paid from them. So in the course that I've just posted on thinklearnearn.com, Guru, I share with you how to do just that. I'm going to take you just a few seconds on how to do that. It's part of the full video. Now, if you want the full video, you click the link over here. Not only will you get the full course, you'll also get my full ultimatum course, plus you'll get the ultimatum theme software, the full $125 version software that comes with my course, one fee, lifetime access. Oh, by the way, for those of you that notice a different background here, I typically record my videos from my uh, office. I have two offices on the first floor of my uh, co-op here in New York City. My girlfriend's in Paris for 10 days. So I get the run of the apartment. I did my run this morning in Central Park. I went to the gym. I had a beverage. So I'm recording this video series from my apartment here in New York City across from Central Park, just in case you were curious. So sit back, relax. I just want to share with you some of the features of my new website before we get into the tutorial on how to do this. So once you log in here into the membership section, these are all the highlighted courses I have, all the other courses up here under my sub menu. Now what's really cool about this training portal is you can track your progress. I have a little tr progress tracking right here. You can also get a certificate of completion. Now I know that some of you that's important to get reimbursed from your employer to know that you took a course and you completed the course. That's important. So in addition to great training from yours, your humble narrator, Robert Farrell, you're gonna get the Ultimatum Theme software. You're gonna get the, all the courses related to the Ultimatum Theme software. Right now, there's two or three courses that I go through step by step. So sit back, relax, crack your knuckles, and I'm going to share with you how to build a billing website or membership website. I won't go into the membership end of it, but I go into the billing end of the tutorial coming up next. Thank you for being here. Please support what I do because I only have one goal in mind, to teach you the skills that will make you money. I'm very successful at what I do. I make more than six figures a month between training, development, consulting, and I work less than 18 hours a week. If I can do it, you can do it. So for those of you that think you're gonna find this for free or run through hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of searching the web for a solution, I've done all that. I've spent 27 years honing my craft and pre presenting to you techniques that work, software that works one step at a time. So again, sit back, have a beverage, crack your knuckles, and watch how you can use this amazing plugin to build a responsive design website using the WordPress theme, the ultimatum theme, to build a membership or payment plan website. Thank you for being here. Stay tuned next to watch the rest of this video. Oh, I guess I didn't hit the uh, delete button. I guess I'm so excited about being in my apartment that I forgot how to do that. Now, whether you're using the Ultimatum theme or any WordPress theme, it's good practice to get into creating a child theme. The benefits of that is if the developer changes the theme drastically, any custom CSS or any kind of custom modification that you did to the PHP pages will be overwritten. However, if you base this on a child theme, you don't have to worry about that because the child theme will not be affected. It's very similar to CSS. It's a parent-child relationship. So the first thing I want to do here based on these choices, software simply comes down to choices. So we're going to go ahead and create a child theme. Now we're going to create a child theme. It's a good practice to get into naming your things something very logical, something that makes sense. I'm going to call this my 960 child theme. And I'll say responsive web design. I'm just going to copy paste. That's what the RWD stands for. Now, important step, I'm not going to move my existing. I'm going to create a completely child theme from scratch. 
and I'm going to save that. Next, I'm going to go to themes, and I'm going to initiate that child theme. That child theme is right here. I'm going to go ahead and activate that child theme. Now, pay close attention over here. Notice how that changed. That used to say the ultimatum theme. It now says the child theme. So, in the ultimatum theme, I'm now going to go to my templates. And I don't have a template. So, we're going to create a template. So, we first create the child theme. The child theme has nothing inside of it. Now, we're going to create a template. I'm going to click right here. And I'll just create a template that will simply be a 960 responsive template. Now, again, it's just a good habit to get into naming your templates naming your themes, naming your folders, naming your files, naming anything that's going to make total sense to you. We're going to make this responsive design, so I'm going to click responsive design here. I'm going to come down here and click save template. Now, for those of you that are new to the ultimatum theme, that's okay. I'll walk you through this step by step. It puts you right back inside the interface. Now, if you're not familiar with how the theme works, you would think, well, maybe it didn't write my theme, but it did. This is basically telling you, do you want to create more templates? In this particular case, I don't. I'm going to hit the back button. Keep in mind, software comes down to choices. Now, it says that I don't have any default template. Now, you might say, wait a second. I just created the template. Isn't that template my default template? Well, according to the rules of the Ultimatum Theme Framework, that's not true. So based on these choices, here are my choices. I'm going to click and make that my default template. So very important step here when you're creating an ultimatum theme website, the hierarchy of how the theme works. It's based on a theme framework. So the hierarchy is theme, child theme, child theme, template, template, layout, layout, rows, were also known as divs, also known as HTML container tags, the rows contain widgets. The widgets contain content. So let me review this so you understand how it thinks. My objective is to teach you how the software thinks. That's how I teach all my courses, to involve you in the thinking process. So it's theme, child theme. Template, template creates layouts. Layouts contain rows. Rows contain widgets. Widgets contain content. So in our next video, I will share with you how to set up our first layout for our default template. Now, keep in mind, this is just a great selling tool for the ability to you give the flexibility of offering your clients a payment plan. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have clients that really don't need a payment plan, like a lot of my clients that are spending five, 10, 20, 30, even $100,000 for a website. Yes, I do bill them half now and then half when the site is completed. That's not necessarily a payment plan. That's just how I choose to do business with a 50% deposit and 50% on completion. Now you can do, use the same setup for doing that as well. But if you want to squeeze the sponge, especially for those of you starting out, where you're spending or basically charging maybe two or three thousand dollars for your websites, and you're dealing with small businesses that really can't afford to come up with two, three thousand dollars in one shot, but they need to come up with something, and that something should be at least say five or six or eight hundred dollars, then they can make one, two, three hundred dollar a month payments based on how you want to charge them. So now we're going to set up the actual system for getting paid. So the first thing I want to do is have my different membership levels. Now again, I'm using this as a loose interpretation because this is using the Paid Membership Pro for passive protected subscription websites, which of course we can also do. But to back it up here for a second, I can use this as a way of charging my members a payment plan. So let's get started with this. So the first thing we're going to do, and if you want to copy and paste right from your membership levels here, so I'm going to open up another page here. Actually, I'll just go here and go to my categories. So here's my different categories. So I can actually take this copy. So therefore, when I make myself a new level, sorry about that, I'm in New York City and sometimes there's traffic. So here's my new membership level, and again, 
Don't get caught up in that word membership level. These are my different payment plans. We can also make membership levels, but that's not what I'm talking about right now. So here is my fee for converting a desktop to mobile site. And I'm gonna put the information there. Now, of course, that copied and pasted the actual URL that I don't technically have to do. So I'm not gonna put the URL there. I'm just gonna put in information about that particular membership level. And you can put a thank you note for what's gonna happen after they make a payment. Now, here's what I wanna share with you. This is the full retail price, and now this gets into, which I highly suggest you do. This is how I started out doing web development back in 95, 96. I, was, I wanna share something with you really important. I was very perplexed that a lot of my fellow web developers were charging by the hour. To me, that never made any sense to me from a consumer standpoint or from a selling standpoint. Because what does that re really mean, per hour? $60 per hour. Does that mean I'm charging you when I'm at my kid's baseball game? I mean, that gets really kind of hokey. I'm charging you per hour. You know, I'm not an attorney. I'm not gonna document every hour that I spend building your website, that's it's too complicated. So what I'm sharing with you, these are flat, flat rate development. So if you're good at what you do, you can size up and know how long it's gonna to take to build a website. So if you're gonna build a five page website, give or take a couple of hours, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna charge you six hours. So I'm gonna say, okay, what's my rate? And this is internal to me. Okay, I charge a hundred bucks an hour. So a six page website, I'm gonna charge you 600 bucks. So you would have to figure out the flat rate that you wanna charge for doing this conversion. So let's say that that flat rate to do a desktop to mobile website conversion is $2,000. So $2,000 is gonna be under the category of desktop website conversions. Exactly what we used up here. Now, this has really no bearing on anything. I'm just gonna keep things nice and organized. This will be $2,000 initial payment, okay? Now, if this in fact is gonna be a subscription-based, what I'm trying to share with you is that this is not the payment plan. This is gonna be set up to be $2,000, period. So this is how we're gonna set up our payment plan. We're not gonna make this a subscription-based. We're gonna make this a one-time fee. In the next series of videos, I will share with you how to set that up with a coupon, which will basically be your payment plan to enable the person to make payments to you. Right now, I just wanna get the different sections set up. So this website, this, this particular web development fee will be $2,000. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna come up here and add a new level. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna pick my e-commerce my WordPress e-commerce development. I'm just gonna copy that, come back over here and paste. And again, I don't wanna put the hyperlink for that. So I'm gonna copy again from here and then paste. And again, you'd put down here the thank you for signing up for the site. I don't want it to go into detail. That's your confirmation message once the person signs up for your service. Now, since this is e-commerce, this is a little bit more sophisticated. So perhaps for this, I'm gonna charge $4,500, and this will be my WordPress e-commerce development, and I'm going to save that. Now, I'm not gonna get into great detail. Right now, I've set up two different types of uh, payment systems. Now, these are not set up in payment systems yet. We're gonna do that in our next video. But these are my two different types of membership levels. Now, membership levels are going to appear in the pages called memberships. I'm gonna to go to all pages for a second and share with you what I'm talking about. Now, if in fact you want to change this name, so we can call these development options. So I'm gonna hit the edit menu, and instead of calling this membership levels, we're just gonna call this web development options. And I'm gonna update that. And if I view this page right now, here's my web development options right there. So if a person wants to sign up for this web development option right here, they can select that. And they're gonna get the billing information for that. Now before we go any further in the next video, before we set up our payment options, I'm gonna share with you how to set up your 
payment options so you can get paid. And we'll do that in our next video.